So today we're covering trigonometric functions. This is actually your first step into trigonometry for the Year 12 mathematics students. Today in particular we'll be looking at converting radians into degrees and degrees into radians. So I know that you're familiar with degrees because we've been doing that throughout high school, but this is actually a traditional way of writing angles. We actually have a more modern way of writing angles which is radians and it's actually used in uh, today's technology so it's actually very important to know so I'll make sure that you understand it by the end of this lesson okay so this is a unit circle and this is just a diagram that illustrates where radian comes from so here this is an arc that measures one unit and here we have two radii measurement of one unit that subtends from the center of the circle. So now as long as the arc and the two radii are the same, this angle here will be one radian. Okay, so this can be 10, 10, 10, but because the sides are the same, this would be one radian. So keep that in mind, that's quite important. More importantly would be this statement here. So 180 degrees is equivalent to pi radians. So make sure you understand that because you'll use that throughout trigonometry in year 12 mathematics. 180 degrees is equal to pi radians. Let's see if we can apply this to some questions that's coming up. So question one, change 80 degrees to radians. Okay, keep in mind that the question asks to give the answer to one decimal place. So make sure that you do answer the question. First step would be to write this. So don't worry, this isn't a formula. This is just writing what we already know. So 180 degrees, remember, is equivalent to pi, as I said before. All you need to do is to write 80 degrees, which is just in the question, and we write an x because that is what we want to know, radians, remember? Okay, so whenever you see an equal sign on either side of the fraction, all you need to do is to cross multiply, okay? so. That is the step that we've cross multiplied. Now we're gonna now divide throughout by 180 degrees because we wanna make x the subject. When we do, we get this. Now, all you need to do now is to grab your calculator, put it in your calculator and you'll get this value. Remember, we have to round up to one decimal place so you'll get a final answer of 1.4, excellent. So hopefully you understand that the first step to any of these questions is remembering the ratio that 180 degrees is equivalent to pi. Okay, moving on. Okay, this is similar. We have to convert 50 degrees to radians. But remember, we have to give the answer in terms of pi. So it's slightly different to question one. Okay, first step, I know you already know, is to write this ratio. 180 degrees is equivalent to pi. Okay, so we're going to cross multiply now when we do, we get this. We want to make x the subject, remember? So we're going to divide throughout by 180 degrees. When we do, we get this. Okay, so remember, we're going to give the answer in terms of pi. So this is quite simple. All we need to do is we can cross out the degree sign on either side, like that. We can also simplify 50 and 180 degrees by simply crossing out the zeros. And then you get a simple answer of 5 pi on 18, which is the final answer. Okay, now moving on to question 3. Okay, so this is a bit different because now the question asks us to convert radians into degrees. But I know you know how to do it because the first step is always the same, to, uh, to write this ratio. But keep in mind that because we want degrees now, not radians, the x is at the numerator, not the denominator like the previous question. Okay, so next step is to cross multiply. When we do, we get this. Now we want to always make x the subject, so divide throughout by pi, and you get x is equal to this. Okay, now grab your calculators and you'll get a decimal uh, value just like this. Now we've got a uh, find to the nearest degree, so you get a final answer of 57 degrees. So not bad at all. I think you're getting familiar with these questions. Okay, next question, yeah, question four. So this is similar, we have to convert 1.5 radians into degrees, correct to the nearest minute. Okay, first step is always writing the ratio, which I've hammered into your head, so I'm sure you understand it now. Cross multiply, yep. Yeah. Make x the subject, so divide throughout by pi 
and you get this. Now I still want you to have your calculators with you, so put it in your calculator and you'll get this. So the only thing different about this question is that we have to convert to the nearest minute. So just remember, this is degrees, minutes and seconds. When you want to round to the nearest minute, you have to look at your seconds. Remember there's 60 seconds in a minute, so if this number is greater than 30, then you move this up number up by one. So your final answer would be 85 degrees and 57 minutes. Excellent! Okay. This question is not bad at all, it's actually easier than some of the other questions we've been looking at. So converting 3 pi 5 radians into degrees. So whenever you see pi, you just substitute 180 degrees. You just need to put this into the calculator and you get a simple answer of 108 degrees. Similar with question 6, so wherever you see a pi, remember you put in 180 degrees. There we go, so you get this. And when you put that in the calculator, you get a simple answer of 210 degrees. Excellent! So that brings us to the end of this lesson. I think you've done very well considering this is the first time you've done trigonometry in Year 12 Mathematics. So as long as you understand that pi is equivalent to 180 degrees, you'll be able to further solve harder questions in the future. Mm -hmm.